To prepare for this shakeout, scientists and researchers have examined a magnitude 7.8 scenario earthquake for Southern California. What this represents is the worst case scenario or the worst earthquake that we can forecast. What many geologists and seismologists and other researchers have come up with is an earthquake that begins in the southern San Andreas and ruptures to the north. This is our best guess of what's going to happen for Southern California and is the reason why we prepare. You can see that the epicenter or the point where the rupture initiates begins near the Salton Sea. White or blue colors represent a low intensity or low ground movement and warm colors represent a large amount of ground movement. As it ruptures north, you can see that as it moves along the San Andreas Fault, that a lot of these warmer colors or high intense shaking stay near the fault region, while other farther away regions like Temecula, for instance, experience just a small amount of ground shaking. We're already about 30 seconds into the rupture process of this magnitude 7.8 earthquake. We now see that the shaking has reached Palm Springs. The interesting thing is, is that as the rupture moves north, the shaking starts to hit metropolitan areas such as Los Angeles. Los Angeles is a major port city that was built on approximately six kilometers of sediment. Sediment and shaking don't really do so great together. What happens with these sedimentary basins, which are wonderful for commerce, is that the shaking becomes intense in this region. So what you'll start to see here in the Los Angeles area is lots of red colors that are showing lots and lots of shaking. You can see it here in Ontario and then as it moves into Los Angeles. You just get lots and lots of ground movement. You can see that even the rupture is now way past Los Angeles, yet shaking still continues in the region. This is a major concern because many people live in Los Angeles and the buildings are such that we may experience loss of life. And lots of downed buildings. Shaking has more or less stopped out here in Riverside, but the basin in Los Angeles continues to shake like a bowl of jello.